Hi Aries and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This will be for April 2nd through April 8th, 2018. As always, all the decks that I'm using are listed in the description box below. And just a reminder to you guys to check out your playlists on my channel, all three of them, since I upload a lot of different content. So Aries, Happy birthday to all of you that have birthdays this week. I hope you have a really special, fabulous week. And let's see what house is highlighted for you guys this week. We have the fourth house. This is all about your physical home or your family, your children. Um, the fourth house is ruled by Cancer and cancer is governed by the moon so you know intuition unconditional love it says your home and the roots of your being so the fourth house is definitely highlighted for Aries this week um, matters going on there and those of you that have birthdays you know I am not surprised to see that but obviously that is going to mean something different for all of you. You could be moving house. You could be thinking about moving house, selling or buying a home, welcoming a new addition to the family, an actual like child or you know a pet. It's just all matters entailed with the house, home, family, children, intuition for some of you. All right, so let's see what is in favor for Cancer. Cancer, I'm sorry. For Aries. Got in the Cancer energy there. Um, let's see what's going in the favor for Aries this week and what may challenge Aries this week. All right, so what is in your favor? The Oracle. Seek wisdom and guidance from elders. So this here being in your favor, um, advice given to you by like parents, a mentor, a teacher, a counselor, a manager, you know, somebody who is wiser or older than you, you know, they're going to give you some really precious advice. Also, um, in saying that, you know, um, somebody along the lines I just mentioned could actually really help you out or do something pretty fantastic for you this week with this card. So that's a great card. What may challenge you? Imagination clouds your judgment. So this isn't such a bad challenge to have, actually. This just says that Aries might be very daydreamy and wishful and, you know, just in your imagination this week, really thinking about how you want things like you're in party mode, fun mode, rather than work mode or responsibility mode. So again, this is not a bad challenge to have, okay? Just to make sure that any decision that you make is sound and grounded, not wishful and hopeful okay but Aries just wants to have fun this week that is for sure so I'm going to draw some major arcana um, to get a little bit more information on what is going in your favor and what can be challenging you this week and this is the vice versa so there is image on both sides All right, so this here associated with the oracle is any of you in any sort of like sticky situation, um, needing money, needing a favor, needing really good advice, needing, needing to see the way forward, just whatever it is that you need um, that you might feel a little bit desperate about or unsure about somebody's got your back and this is somebody 
that is either older than you or is more versed, is wiser than you on some level, somehow, some way, but they have your back, you know, through whatever situation. Um, if you're like trying to buy a home, it could be that like you have a parent or somebody like co-signing for you. Um, if you're like having a baby, maybe a parent, grandparent, you know, there's just somebody older or wiser that has more resources than you is helping you out this week, okay? That might be why family is so highlighted is because somebody's really going to help you out. Now, <clears throat> yeah, this coming out with the challenge, this here's the emperor. This is your own energy, Aries. Um, yeah, you're really just going to want to be in like play mode, fun mode. I don't want to work. I don't want responsibilities this week. It's just I'm really feeling like the energy and the vibe is high for you. And things are just coming through for you in very unexpected ways from family members. And um, like some of you, maybe you thought you weren't going to be able to sell your property and it just it happens for you. Or um, you didn't think you were going to have enough to buy a certain place and, you know, somebody like a grandparent, a parent gives you the money that you need. You know, it's just somebody's really coming through for Aries this week. And Aries' only real challenge is that Aries just wants to play and have fun and not think about responsibilities this week. Right, so we have hope and complicated. Yeah, so definitely something that you are struggling with. Somebody comes along, helps you out, and restores hope, okay? Um, with complicated here, Again, I feel like if you're in a sticky situation, somebody's going to save you. Somebody's going to really help you out and have your back, Aries. I just, I don't feel anything bad um, with this. Nothing negative, honestly. I, somebody's just going to have your back, and you're good. So let's, um, let's pull the Lenormand to get a little bit more information here. I don't know it's just like everything's so positive and working out so well like you're just having so much fun that I think that's why it's hard that for you to be responsible this week or oh wow I love that those two cards flew out okay so we have the clover other than the sun card this is one of the best cards in the Lenormand, in my opinion. Yeah, luck is on your side, Aries. This week, it's things are just working out for you, no matter what. No matter what. <laughs> and we have the moon here. I'm feeling something about your new moon, which I believe is on the 15th. So it's not this week, but, um, you know, maybe luck also follows you to your new moon next week and lastly we have the polar bear yeah somebody just again Aries luck is on your side okay many things unseen going in your favor um, with the bear here you know somebody being very protective over you and even like though not everything um, is seen and you might not know like the entire way forward this week, definitely by your new moon you will, okay? But hope is restored. Like if it was darkness, you're like, oh my God, the way comes through this week. Like 
just a lucky week for you guys. Universe is on the side for Aries. So I'm going to pull... what we got. Oh my gosh, it just cannot get better than this. <laughs> Nine of Hearts, Fulfillment, Harmony, Protection. Yeah, pretty much uh, that sums it up. I don't even really need to go into much more detail about this card because for some of you this is fulfillment. For some of you this is like harmony. Um, others of you this is protection, Nine of Hearts wish come true and you know what you guys had this um for the love reading too for april's energy so my god aries it's just good all the way around like it's so good this week for the aries i'm reading for that you just you don't even want to deal with like adulting and reality like of responsibility because it's just Wow, good stuff, good stuff, like something you really want. It, it's just working out. It's working out, Aries. You guys comment, let me know, because this is just awesome. Awesome, okay. So these are just a little extra... They're not tarot, they're just little nice messages that have actually been quite fitting. So let's see, what else would the universe like to add to Aries' perfect reading? Give honest feedback. Integrity is telling myself the truth, and honesty is telling the truth to other people. So Aries, be honest um, to others, but I feel mainly because of Nine of Hearts, be honest with yourself, okay? Be honest with yourself this week because, I don't know, you know what? That might be where this complicated and the moon come in for some of you and then seeking some advice, okay? All right, so... Whatever this magic is that's going on, some of you, it might be that there's a specific person that you don't feel like you can tell them what's really going on or, you know, maybe um, if you need to miss work for whatever this is, you're too scared to tell your boss the truth, okay? Uh, it could be something like that. I just feel like there's you know and that's why you have to seek seek wisdom from elders it's just like all this really good stuff but somewhere in your life there's just somebody that I feel that you don't want to know what's going on for you like you're afraid they'll sabotage you or if you have to get permission from somebody you're scared that they'll say no and again the universe is on your side here. Be entirely honest this week. It will actually go in your favor to do so. Even if you don't think that it will, it will favor you to be honest. And you might have to be strong about it. Um, also, with this, some people might be honest with you out of nowhere. And you're like, whoa, Nelson. And uh, the honesty they give you is good because there's nothing negative here. So, Aries, I hope you guys have an absolutely fabulous week. It looks amazing, amazing for you guys. People have your back. Be honest. Um, just tell the truth about everything. You know, um, even if you feel like it's going to dampen plans, just be straight about it because it's going to work out in your favor. It's just like everything's on your side this week, no matter what. So stress about nothing. 
All right, Aries, that's what I got for you. I'm wishing you all a very beautiful and blessed week. Take care.